What's up guys, BoHD here. Hope you guys are doing well. Now I thought I'd make a little video walking you through my daily routine. What I do the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. Hopefully some of you will find this interesting. Maybe uh, you can relate to some of the things I mentioned. Maybe not, and you'll click out uh, of the video halfway through, I don't know. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. First, I try and wake up between 8 a.m. and 8.30 a.m every morning. I always put my phone in airplane mode before going to bed so I don't get any notifications while I sleep. So when I wake up after disabling my alarm, I turn off airplane mode and wait for the flood of notifications. Usually it's emails, maybe a text message or two, and some Snapchat notifications. Now I recently removed Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook from my phone because I was wasting so much time just mindlessly scrolling through content for no reason. Every passing second, every time I would be waiting in line or something, I'd pull up my phone and just mindlessly scroll through content. It was just crushing my productivity. I still manage these sites on my laptop or my iMac. I'm just not managing them via my phone because I was checking my phone like it seemed like hundreds of times a day for no reason. Next, I get out of bed. I go hop in the shower. Uh, without showering, I never quite wake up. So I try and shower first thing in the morning. After that, I go brush my teeth because it's very important to brush your teeth twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Now, I use an Oral-B toothbrush and I think this is a good time to say that, yes, this video is sponsored by Oral-B. Oral-B sent us their Oral-B 1000 electric toothbrush. The Oral-B 1000, which I've been testing for the past few weeks, offers stellar cleaning performance, but at a much cheaper price than many of its competitors. You get a rechargeable battery, interchangeable toothbrush heads. You can swap these out whenever you need to. Maybe the brush gets worn down. Just swap in a new one pretty easy. And there is a brush that rotates and pulsates to scrub off more plaque than any regular manual toothbrush can ever do. It comes in at only $50 via the link down below in the description of this video. If you haven't used an electric toothbrush before, this is a great one to start with. Okay, now I'm feeling fresh and clean. What better way to ruin all of that than with a fresh cup of black coffee and some breakfast? That's right, I get coffee after I brush my teeth, although a lot of times, I mean, if I'm being totally honest, a lot of times I just brush my teeth after breakfast and after my cup of coffee, or maybe I'll brush my teeth in before and after, who knows? It just depends on what I'm feeling. Now I will say I have been getting into blonde roast lately because it has more caffeine and it drinks like tea. Uh, I've always drank dark roast. So if, you're, if you've are if you been a dark roast fan, maybe change it up a little bit. Get a, get a nice quality reserve blonde roast from your local Starbucks, not a sponsor. I like to get right to work after pouring my cup of coffee and eating a, a light breakfast. I'll sign in to answer emails about product reviews and sponsorships. I'll uh, consume the news to see what's happening locally, nationally, globally. Usually I'll have Alexa actually read me the news while I'm working or I'll turn on the news on the TV and just have it playing in the background. I'm not sure, a lot of people can't work with stuff playing in the background, but it really helps me concentrate and just get in the right mindset when I'm surrounded by current events and news in general. I'm, I'm a big news junkie, that's for sure. So I'll do that for a few hours and then I'll sign on to Slashdot where I manage the site, add and moderate stories, read more news articles that might be Slashdot worthy. And that's really my main job where I sign in at around noon to 1 p.m. and work nonstop until 5 p.m. It really just depends if it's a slow news day or if it's a really good news day. It kind of just uh, dictates whether or not I'll be working until five or six or later, or maybe I'll get off a little bit earlier and I can go do other things but I like to get most of my work done in one big chunk. So I'll almost always sit down at new, between noon and 1 p.m. and then work for several hours nonstop, no breaks, nothing. So after I get a good chunk of work done, I'm at a good stopping point, I'll take a break, I'll go get some food, and then I'll try and go climbing, not necessarily in that order, but that'll take a couple hours or so. A good climbing session for me is between one or two hours. I almost exclusively boulder, but I'm starting to get into some rope climbing. I'm trying to get over my fear of heights. I'm getting there. That's actually one of my goals this year is to get a membership at a gym that supports rock climbing, that has walls that are taller than 15 feet. Once I'm done with that, I'll come home and finish up work for a couple more hours, eat a pretty late dinner, then try and watch a show with my girlfriend. Usually we just end up like scrolling through Netflix trying to find a show, but sometimes, Sometimes we can actually click on something and start watching it. 
with that said, uh, we just finished the show You. We finished Russian Doll, Sex Education, and now we're starting season two of Good Girls, which is kind of cheesy, but it's casual and it's fun. Something I can just throw on, sit back and relax. But yeah, keep in mind that between the events mentioned in this video, I'm checking in with work constantly. I'm finding time to film videos for phonedog.com as well as this channel. I'm checking emails and managing my social networks, not necessarily from my phone, but I'm still managing them from some sort of computing device. Um, I'm not 100% cut and paste word for word, but generally speaking, this is my daily routine. And I usually end my day at around midnight to 1 a.m. and I try and get about eight hours of sleep every single night. Everyone's different. I wanna be able to get to that point where I can just get like five or six hours uh, and be super productive. But I just found that eight hours is what works for me. It's my sweet spot where I don't feel totally dead in the morning. Um, I'll brush my teeth again, of course, with an Oral-B toothbrush. I'll take my handful of nighttime pills and go to bed. That's it, that's my main weekday day in a nutshell. Uh, the weekends are a completely different story. I'm usually just as productive, but all of my work is focused on my house and or my yard. Um, but that's a whole separate video. Let me know if you wanna see you know, anything about my house that I purchased last year. I haven't really mentioned that. Um, that could be interesting. I don't know, let me know what you're thinking if you wanna see that in the comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this inside look at the day in the life of Bo HD. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you feel like we can kind of relate on a personal level. Thanks to Oral-B for sponsoring this video. I will talk to you right back here in the next one. See ya.